This is a video on how I set up Plex Media Server on my Ugreen NAS. And open up Docker. Going to head over to Image, and we're going to download our Plex image. We're also going to open up this tutorial tab and follow a template on this page. This Docker template right here. And this is where the downloaded image is going to be stored. In File Manager, I will create my shared Plex folder by hitting the plus button. And inside my Plex folder, I will create three more folders titled config, movies, and TV shows. Now heading back to the Docker window, we're going to hit the create button. You can name your container whatever you'd like. I left these the same. Under storage pool is where we're going to bind the folders that we had just created. Some of my folders may be populated already because it's already installed on my NAS, so yours may look a little different. If you created any other folders, you can add them as well and bind them the same way like a music folder and that's it for this tab on the network tab we're just going to change the mode to host and that's it for that tab just to show that we're following this template on the advanced tab we are going to add five variables one, two, three, four, and To get the values for the first two variables, we need to turn it on to the NAS. I used Telnet because I had issues authenticating with SSH and I was too lazy to figure it out. So I enabled Telnet. On my Windows 11 machine, I had to turn on the Telnet feature. Then the command is Telnet and the IP address of your NAS that you can find under the network tab if you have it set for DHCP.
then it'll prompt for your login credentials. Type in the command ID, and here are the two values, 999 and 10. Yours may be different. Now that I have my values, I go back and I disable Telnet because it is insecure. And if I have to terminal into my NAS, I will hopefully figure out how to SSH into it. Head back to Docker and input the respective values. I did not demonstrate it, but do not forget to do it. I moved along quickly to the time zone variable. You're going to click this link and scroll down to your respective time zone and input the value. For version, you have several options. I just decided to stick with the template and use the Docker value. For the Plex claim value, I did not fully demonstrate on how to receive it, but you click this link you sign into your Plex account, you copy the claim ID value that it gives you, and you paste it here. Then you hit done. Now that the container is running, we can finish the setup through the browser. You can open up a new browser and type app.plex.tv. My setup prompt didn't pop up right away. I waited about a minute and then it came up. It's not supposed to look like this, but something like this picture here. Once you have this, it'll let you finish setting up the server. I don't go into details on how to do it because there's a ton of videos out there on how to finish setting up the server through the browser. Thanks for watching. Thank you for bearing with me on this rough video. It's my first one. I apologize if you guys have any questions in the comments. I work at Costco full time and I'm a full time boyfriend, so I might not have time to get back to you. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.